Bill O'Reilly did a little rant last night where he fear mongers about illegal immigration. And of course, he uses one of the lines that the conservatives always use, which is, well, we just can't afford it. We can't afford any more immigration. That's just, we're just totally bankrupt. And then he also predicts that the left is going to call him the devil for his position uh, on it and yada, yada, yada. So he invited on Kirsten Powers right after he finished his rant. And this awesome exchange happened. And you say Powers? I agree with you. You're the devil. Yeah, <laughs> and you're okay. wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, <laughs> look, I, I, I just couldn't. I disagreed with almost every word that came out of your mouth, actually. And well, let's take it step I, by you know, step. Okay, and I think that if you're going to invoke the Bible, Judeo-Christian standards, there was no but. There was no take in the refugee uh, and, and care for the poor, but maybe not because it might be too hard for you and it might be too expensive. Well, what if it's we impossible, though? We, what well, what if it's all, impossible? It's not, okay, so here, here's, here's another problem with what you said. Okay. It's a, it's a false choice. When you say we can't take care of the, all the entire world's poor, Correct. Well, no one's asking us to take care of the entire world's poor. This is 50,000 to 70,000 children. We actually can take care of them, and we always have enough money whenever somebody decides so how many, that we need to no, go invade many, a country in the Middle East. No one ever day. asks where that money's more coming from. More so you're going to tell day. me that we can't afford to pay for 50,000 children? Wait, 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 I mean, come wait, 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 on, wait, wait, Powers, more and more coming every day, all right? This isn't Fine, like... make it 100,000. Are you seriously saying we cannot help take care of those children? Well, you have, you'll there have 12 million. million in here now. How, I mean, it's not... But how, where do you cut it off, Powers? Where do you stop talking it? We're talking about the children. This segment where is about the children. Where do you stop it, so Kirsten? I would, I would say every child that comes into this country, we should take care of. Everyone That's in the what world. I would say. Every, yes. every, now, all the well, Chinese. They're not coming everyone. in. Really, the Chi all the Chinese are going to come to the United States, Bill. If they could, they would. Themselves. I mean, but they can't. We're talking about If you about were president, the border, they would. But you cannot. Oh, really? How would they? Would they fly over here? No, I mean, they'll how, take they, a little they, boat, they Kirsten, and it'll the be people smugglers themselves. like there the are children, now. Right. I mean, come on, Bill. These, this, this is our border. You're We're asking me to come on. That are coming over our border, Look. and you basically are invoking all this stuff about. I don't even understand what your argument is that we're supposed to send them okay, back. Let, let me, let me. I'll is? talk slowly so you understand it. We can't afford to do this. The country That's cannot ridiculous. afford. It's ridiculous. We have a 17 trillion dollar debt I've here. Ne I've never heard you say that that we can't afford to invade Iraq. Which we, we can't. Couldn't. We can't afford the nation building. We couldn't anymore. afford it, but you didn't say that when we invaded Iraq. You didn't I say said we can't afford to do that. <laughs> I said it shortly afterward. How long after, Bill? What was it? Eight years later, you said, "Okay, um, yeah, maybe it wasn't the best idea to go into Iraq, even though I just defended it for the past eight years." Please, that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call in the business a checkmate. All of a sudden, they're concerned about fiscal responsibility when it comes to immigrants. But when it comes to war, shh. He just gave a talking point yesterday about how America rightly is the world police. And we should go around to all these different nations and tell them how to live and tell them which governments are allowed and not allowed. For fuck's sake, she gets it exactly right. Here's the bottom line. The Republicans only talk about fiscal responsibility when it's an issue that they're against. So when it comes to war, oh, the 900 military bases? No, no, leave them alone. In fact, increase them. The Ryan budget, which supposedly was, oh, he cuts everywhere. Cut, 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 cut. It increased military spending. Increased military spending. Which already, I mean, what does it make up? About 57% of the non-discretionary spending? That is insane. And they want to increase that. When it comes to corporate welfare. What do they want to do? Keep giving it away, man. I never heard Bill O'Reilly do a segment about the $4 billion subsidy that ExxonMobil gets every single year for research and development. He's got nothing to say about that. He was in favor of the Wall Street bailouts, the blank check that we gave to those assholes after they bankrupted their own companies, and then they took our money paid out bonuses to those failures. They bought private jets. They remodeled their offices to the tune of billions of dollars. He had nothing to say about that. I mean, he has nothing to say about the rich tax cuts. He always screams about, oh, we got to give more money to the job creators. But wait a second, didn't you just say that we can't afford to pay for immigrants, but we can afford 
to continue to have the rich pay a historically low tax rate of 35% when all the Democrats wanted was to bring it to 39%, which is what it was under the Clinton administration when we had a booming economy? So they only care about, oh, fiscal responsibility uh, when it's an issue that they wouldn't want to pay a penny for. Now, uh, understand something. O'Reilly, in his anti-immigration rant, he invoked Christianity. How do you do that? The balls it takes. As if Jesus Christ, if he were around today, he would agree with Ted Cruz. Yeah, Jesus Christ, totally in line with Thad Cochran. He wants to build a border fence and put a moat there and electrify it and maybe add some crocodiles. Because here's what Jesus hates, the downtrodden. Here's what Jesus hates, the poor and the sick and the people who are wandering through the desert to try to make a better life for themselves and their families. Jesus Christ, all he would do is advocate for those people. All he did was advocate for those people. Like Kirsten Powers said, there was no but. There was no, oh, uh, take care, care of the poor. Unless reasons X, Y, and Z. No, no, there was no unless.